Friends, as you know, we bring together selected health, ecological products, and uh, here is one of great companies, True Kava, Nature Stress Solution. I invited for interview Cameron George, founder and developer for this company, and he will tell us more. What exactly have you developed and what is the magic of this uh, Kava? I see that uh, it is uh, for clarity of your mind to be more focused and uh, to be more productive and it also produce ketones and uh, you will sleep deeper and many many benefits uh, so curious how does it work uh, tell us more please yeah so for a lot of people who actually have never heard of kava kava is a stress relieving nootropic elixir that's prepared in islands in the south pacific so think islands like fiji and a lot of people haven't heard of vanuatu but that's a big one right next to fiji even hawaii and tonga all these polynesian islands it's been a core part of polynesian culture for over three thousand years they consume it like we consume alcohol basically they have kava bars and they consume it for weddings funerals spiritual ceremonies social gatherings huge part of their culture I had discovered it and come across it while I was sick with autoimmune disease and I was having multiple seizures a day and a chronic illness process and was on heavy doses of very addictive benzodiazepine-like drugs. So uh, your personal story is very interconnected with your company story and you actually started to create these products because you had some uh, issues with uh, health and uh, that's why you started to create this, yes? Absolutely, absolutely. It was intimately connected. I sort of stumbled across it. I mean, I definitely, I'm actually from a town in northwest Arkansas, so I, I definitely didn't wake up one day and, and decide that I was going to explore root-like beverages from islands in the South Pacific, you know. It, it, I, you know, I came across it. It was sort of a pain-to-purpose story, as I tell people, right? So I completely lost my health, and I was on heavy doses of these very addictive drugs and was looking for a plant-based alternative that I could use as a tapering agent but also as an alternative that wasn't so addictive and that didn't bring a lot of the, the, the cognitive deficit effects that come from those particular drugs. I had spent years while I was sick just scouring medical and scientific literature and research and and you know looking at different plant compounds. Came across kava, uh, what I thought was kava, and in the United States we have a form called kava kava. Tried it didn't get much effect off of it. Um, and so I decided to get in touch with some indigenous people in the islands and they told me that wasn't real kava, basically. The way that it's extracted in the United States, for most companies, they use solvents to extract it, which de you know, deteriorate probably about 90% of the effects. I got some of the real stuff with the real preparation, and it worked magic. was able to get off my benzodiazepine drugs within two months, which was unheard of. And it really turned on my brain and allowed me to relax and sleep and focus. And it was an, just an amazing plant medicine for me um, that acted as sort of this anti-drug, non-addictive type of, type of elixir. And I decided to create a product based on that because the traditional preparation, as good as it is, it takes a lot of preparation for like 30 minutes to squeeze out this root in a strainer bag. You end up with this bowl of muddy water, just not practical for the marketplace. So I had to develop extraction methods that captured all of the active constituents that maintained its potency and its effects. So this is a new form of kava that we're calling true kava, stabilized traditional kava that we're you know, jettisoning into the marketplace. So. And uh, when you say it is new form of kava, uh, can you please explain how do you suggest uh, to get it inside? So I see some uh, small bottles. Uh, can we show? I think. Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, do you suggest uh, to put it in some cup or how we? Uh, yeah, observe. we have two forms of our product right now. We have two products available right now. We have our full spectrum traditional kava oil, which is this. It's the Kavaplex. Basically, it's a solvent-free extraction method that we use. We have, you know, it's a pressing method that we develop that doesn't allow any heat, light, or oxidation to occur, obviously, to the plant material. So it captures the effects of traditional kava in this palatable form. This is basically like 30 doses in one vial of oil, very similar to what you would get with a CBD type of oil. So one dropper full is one dosage. Um, and you can actually just take it under the tongue, hold it under your tongue, you get better absorption that way hold it for 30 seconds, swallow it, or you, it actually mixes very well in teas and coffees and even with MCT oil and coffee, like a bulletproof style coffee. Caffeine and MCT enhance the uptake of the active constituents and you get an enhanced effect. 
you mentioned a little bit on it helping to produce ketones. That's something that only traditional kava does. It suppresses appetite and it, it increases dopamine levels in the brain and energy in the brain without putting glucose in there. So it's great for people who are trying to adapt during ketosis to go long periods of time during intermittent fasting without eating or just to fast, you know, or eat less basically and stay focused. Yeah, I can imagine that it is a very, very useful product for those who are on keto diet or fasting. Uh, yeah, and uh, do you know what can I say? It is very convenient to use it because yes. yeah. <laughs> it's uh, very yeah. easy to use. So this is one more form. And what is this? Yes. So this is our Elevate Kava Shot line basically so it's very similar to a five hour energy shot this is one dosage per shot except for think of a stress relieving but not sedating product so it's it's activating it elicits a state of calm centered focus so a lot of people use it as an alternative to coffee if they can't if they get anxiety from coffee or they get the jitters or you can add it with coffee to take the edge off the coffee and get the best of both worlds you get this cognitive activation not overstimulation but also a relaxation it's so it's a anxiety reducing nootropic which is very convenient because most nootropics end up being stimulating and can induce anxiety so it's really, really unique in that regard. It's a little bit more powerful than the oil, so it's like for more intense, stressful situations where you need a little bit of extra something there, you know. And so a lot of people will use it as an alcohol alternative as well, too, when they're somewhere and they don't want to drink to kind of increase that connection, socialization, get that, that dopamine boost and allow people to connect easier, which is how it's used in the islands. So I guess uh, you shouldn't uh, uh, observe it before night, yeah? Well, so, so you can you cannot sleep. <laughs> well, actually, it leads to a good sleep, but I would take these forms of it. There are forms of kava strains we'll have in the future that you can take right before bed. Right now, we're focusing on these balanced, you know, daytime strains. Um, but it'll lead to a good sleep if you take it one to two hours before bed. That means it has time to sort of give you the mind-activating effects but not stimulating and sort of settle down. And once it settles down, you take this during the day, and that night it leads to deeper sleep. And we see that all the time on people's aura ring scores where they're, they're tracking their sleep. Tremendous sleep aid, but uh, not sedative immediately. So, mm -hmm. Got it. Uh, thank you very much. Uh Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you for supporting Biohacking Congress.